Rachel just started her company last year and she already has six offices worldwide. How is this even possible? Isn't this the Rachel that you helped to get a half decent SAT score in high school? I thought she went to a mediocre university. I know! How can she be so successful? How can someone be better than you? Does not matter how, you need to be better than her. Yes, I'll start right away. I have to beat Rachel at any cost. But how will I be able to get all the paperwork done in time for all the new projects? There are always ways you can beat the system. Get the paperwork done in days, not months. Grease some palms. Use that trickery, you know. You've got to get ahead of her. Finally, the reports are through. But these incompetent people, these employees, despite getting paid so much, cannot provide accurate reports. Paulina, you're being too nice to them. They'll only work if you yell at them. In this world, nothing happens without me. Use me. I have the power to get things done quickly. Finally, people are scared for their jobs and doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. We got such a huge contract. It's time to celebrate! Celebrate? It's not the time to celebrate. It's just the beginning. We need to buy bigger contracts to get better houses, fancy cars, expensive vacations. You need more, Polina. More. Yes, I need all of this to live. Then people will respect me. I have three huge contracts, and as I wish, I have three offices across the world. My employees are working around the clock all because of me. I have cracked the code of efficiency. My sheer brilliance. Take that, Rachel. Now, Polina, it's time for you to show off. Look at how successful you are in such a short span of time. You're the only one who knows this business so well. No one can be doing this. Yes, yes, I am responsible for my success. And look at all of this wealth. It is all yours. Nobody else can claim it. And this is just the beginning. You have so much more to achieve. Paulina, listen to us. We own you. We will control you. You need more, more, more. My head is exploding. I'm now more successful than any of my friends. I have everything I could ever want, but I'm unable to sleep and I've totally lost my peace. Why am I feeling this way? Oh God, where do I find some answers? Body is like a water bubble. Mind is like a bad monkey. Don't follow the mind, don't follow the body. Follow the conscious. Follow the conscious. Hey stranger, remember me? Um, do I know you? Why would you? It's not like I've been a part of you forever, is it? The name is Conscience, by the way. Oh yeah, it's been a long time. How have you been? Where have you been? Slaving away, I presume. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. My life is a mess, and I'm so successful, yet I have no peace of mind. Oh, is it? I wonder where it all began. Oh yeah, I remember seeing a post about Rachel on LinkedIn. It made me feel... It made me feel jealous of her. I heard this voice telling me that I always have to be better than her. That sneaky whisper of jealousy, that's where it all started. Good, very good. Are you sure that jealousy was your sole vice? Well, once I let jealousy sneak in, it wasn't long before greed, pride, attachment, and desire took the lead in all my actions. I've done quite a lot of unspeakable things. But the worst of all is anger. It's like a parasite that feeds on all the other vices and makes them more viler. Oh my God, I've become a slave to these demons. They're the ones who have robbed me of my peace. That's my girl. Welcome back. Glad to be connected. Now that you've recognized them all, what now? I, I don't know. 
I'm not sure. Come on, you know it. You always know what to do. <gasps> I can't believe I got caught up in this rat race. I grew up learning the five human values essential for existence. Love, peace, truth, right conduct, and nonviolence, taught by my beloved Lord. But not only did I do exactly the opposite, I stopped listening to my conscience. I lost my true identity, my true self. But it's never too late to change. I just need to practice love in my words, be grounded and content. I will never waver from this path. Let me start making amends now. Uh, this is the worst grief I've ever had. Paulina just did not want to feel my power. No screaming, no yelling at anyone. I just feel so useless. This makes me so angry. Exactly. It's as though I feel completely invisible. Paulina had an opportunity to get a huge contract, but then she just turned it down, saying that it's all unlawful, unethical. Who does that? Hmm. Listen to my story. Two days ago, as I was enticing her by increasing her wants using our special tool temptation, she completely ignored me. I felt so useless. I feel like a monk without a Ferrari. That Paulina. I just asked her to boast a little bit and show off. You know what she says? She said, desire is a storm. Greed? She said that you are a whirlpool. And you, jealousy? She says you are a work animal. And attachment, she says that you are an avalanche. And you know what she said about me? She says pride is a precipice. Oh, she talks a lot. Guys, I was the instigator of all her success. And now I am jealous that I'm not even in the mix. She says she is confident about who she is and doesn't care about the success of others. What is this girl talking about? And get this. She told me that she no longer has any attachment to any of her belongings. So she's going to donate her time, money, and energy to the service of others. I mean, what kind of era are we entering? Oh, I'm so done with Paulina. You know, apparently we're entering a golden age of love. Such a craze amongst these humans. Hmm. Idea, we might as well sign up for one of those space programs where we can go to another planet. I don't think we can survive here any longer. Yeah, I think Anger was really smart to leave. Maybe we should have followed her. Sri Satya Sai Baba says, For all the diseases arising from the mind, the basic causes are two, attachment and aversion. The mind is filled with these twofold feelings. Consequently, it tends to forget its basic human nature. The mind in this state considers the six basic enemies of man, lust, hatred, delusion, greed, envy, and pride as virtues. These six vices can poison a person's entire being. He then forgets his inherent divinity and ceases to be human. He is a victim of infamy. But a person filled with good feelings enjoys peace and happiness.